again today. Race number two, but it's also Super Bowl Sunday. So, I don't know, typically like we have autocrosses on Super Bowls and, and like I'm not a really big football fan, so I mean I enjoy watching it, but I'm not like a big like follower of football, you know, the whole fantasy football and all this kind of stuff. Like, that's not me. I'm more of a car guy, so I follow IMSA, 24 Hours of Daytona, 12 Hours of Sebring, the WEC, that kind of stuff, you know. Uh, I was just watching the other day the Asian Le Mans series, and like, for me, that's more interesting. So, I'm happy to go racing on Super Bowl Sunday, so it's good because, I mean, the roads are like empty because everyone's going to be partying and everything. Um, and everyone's going to be at home, so... Yeah, so just heading to the track. Um, nothing has really changed since the last race. I mean, it's only been like what a week or so, two weeks. So not much has changed really. So I'm just gonna head to the track and just see what's going on again. Um, it does look a little bit damp. It looks like it rained overnight. So the, the I mean the, the road right now is a little bit wet. The Miata in front of me did a 32, I did a 33, so we're evenly matched.
So it changes the front coil over to full hard. See if I can get a little bit more rotation or whatever. I don't think I that's I think that's the wrong setup, but it's whatever. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Alright, uh, I don't know. I just couldn't get it to work this this last run. I, I don't know. Um, yeah, but I gotta run out to the course real quick. And then I'll come back and then I'll do a little overview of how I, um, how I was doing. So, yeah. yeah. Alright, back home from autocross. Um, we finished actually kind of early today. Uh, we were pretty much done with autocross with at like 2.30. We got through all four heats by 2.30 today, which is crazy early. But I guess it's not surprising because today is Super Bowl Sunday. Um, so not a lot of people showed up, which is fine. For me, I don't know. It never bothered me. And I'd rather prefer, I would prefer to be racing like I did today than staying at home watching the game so yeah but we finished early which is great um because i was able to come home um pretty early and uh kind of just unwind and kind of unpack and everything and uh get all my stuff sorted out yeah so looking back at the you know all my runs and everything throughout the morning um i just i don't know i just couldn't figure out why i kept going slower and slower um, the tire pressure stayed the same. Uh, it was at 30 psi throughout the entire four runs. Um, I kept monitoring it and I kept watching and looking at the, the wear patterns and everything and it looked fine. I mean all the rear coilovers were at 32. Fronts were initially at 25 then after that my last run I was just like let's just max it out. So I maxed it out full stiff and it I went even slower. I mean, it was still 33, but it was just like, I couldn't, I don't know. I just couldn't improve on it. I kept getting slower and slower and slower. While my competitor, who was in a Mazda Miata, kept getting quicker and quicker and quicker. <laughs> um, so we were like one second apart from each other. Um, he was doing like 32s, I was doing 33s. But he was going down 32, like getting close to 32 flat. And I was getting closer to 34, <laughs> which is kind of weird. So we're like, we found like the happy medium and then we just kind of gravitated away from each other. Um, but I don't know. I just couldn't figure out why I didn't improve my time. At least, you know, during the heat of everything. Uh, it could have been set up. It could have been the tires. Um, like this is only my second race with the tires and I've only had these tires on for like a couple months now. And I mean, they run on the normal on street, you know, driving it to and from work, they handle fine, right? Brand new tires, they handle fine whatsoever. But I guess trying to push it on track, it's a little different. And it just seems like they didn't really respond. Or like they took time to respond to my inputs and everything. And I mean, I wasn't understeering. You know, that's a good thing. So I wasn't understeering going into any of the corners. Um, and it just felt like, I mean, I don't know. I feel like the tires are capable. Because they're all one brand new. 
But two, they, they feel capable. A lot better than my Toyos that I had before. But I just, I don't know. I just, maybe it's still early on trying to learn these tires. But, well, hope for the next one. You know, maybe next next race I'll do better. But, so yeah. Um, that's it for this video, guys. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Okay.